Hello. Today we're going to be discussing force control for Linmont drives. Force control is a protected technology function that requires a key to be activated. You can check if your drive has a key or input your key under Drive Set Access Code. This drive already has a key. Note that the key is unique to each drive and must be purchased separately. If you have a key and would like to input it, you can type it into the key code and access code text boxes, then click Write. Note that the drive must be restarted before the key will be activated. Contact your local distributor or Linmont directly for assistance in purchasing a key. Additional hardware is also required. A load cell is used to measure the force and a signal conditioner should be used to ensure that there is no noise. The drive is capable of accepting inputs between 0 and 10 volts on its single-ended analog input and negative 10 and 10 volts on its differential analog input. Make sure that the load cell outputs a clean signal, is well matched to the load that will be measured, and is capable of measuring dynamic forces. We're going to begin by configuring the analog input into which the load cell is connected. I'm using the drive's differential analog input. Settings for this input can be found in the parameter tree here. I need to specify my zero volt offset so that a force of zero newtons corresponds to zero volts in the drive. I can check what voltage the drive is reading by going to variables in Linmot Talk, navigating to MCSW Overview, and checking the analog voltage for the input I'm using. Note that you will need to click this red circle with the clock inside in order to read all variables continuously. I can see that my drive is reading about negative 5 volts, even though no force is applied to the load cell. To compensate for this, I'll need to offset my measurement by this value. To see how much I need to offset by, I can go to Options, Raw Data Display Mode, and change it to Decimal. I can now see that the drive is reading negative 1042 in the raw data column here. Taking the inverse of this value, I can now apply it to the zero volt offset so that the value will show up properly. I can now see that my drive is properly reading zero volts, which corresponds to the zero newtons that I know is being applied to the load cell. Now I'm ready to move on to configuring the force control parameters within the protected technology functions of the drive. First, I select the input my load cell is connected to. In my case, this is the differential analog input on X4.10 and 4.11. I need to stop the firmware on the drive to make this change. Next, I can input the 0 slash negative 10 volt and 10 volt force values. I've calibrated my load cell using known loads. This step is always recommended for accurate results. Therefore, I know that my negative 10 volt force is negative 398.2 newtons, and my 10 volt force is 398.2 newtons. Now that I've made these changes, I'm ready to restart the firmware on my drive and verify that everything is working properly. Once the firmware is started, I can check the measured force under Variables, MCSW Force Control. I can see that a force is registered under Measured Force when I press on the load cell. If you like, you can add this variable to the control panel so you can keep an eye on it as you proceed with setting up your system. You can do this by using the Add Variable feature, which can be found to the right of the monitoring window in the control panel. In the next videos, we'll cover some commonly used force control motion commands and advanced force control features. Thanks for watching.